guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Berdo here, and you are at my channel, Frozen Ultimates. So this is going to be my monster thon Tabia, hosted by Kate from Chapter Kate. So I look link her channel down below and her announcement video, which you guys have to check because it's such an innovative and amazing readathon, and I'm so uh, honored to be participating in this readathon. I'm so excited. So this is a very casual video because like uh, in a few minutes few people will be coming to like do maintenance work in my house so i don't really have time to like prepare and do a video if i prolong then i will never get to doing this video and also doing a tbr video is one of the challenges and i want and this is a competition based uh, uh readathon so like there are three groups the haunts the b um sorry the haunts, the uh, bees, and the conspiracies, and I'm part of conspira the team conspiracies, and I really want to do something for my uh, team, like get some points for my team. So yeah, I'll be posting this video. I have to post this video. So yeah, that's why this is very casual one, and I won't be explaining all the uh, about all the books. I'll just be showing you guys and be like, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. So yeah, very casual video, and you can. See over there, that's my shelf. I've never shown you guys my shelf ever because I really can't like uh, do a video over here because this is like it's filled with katsura and all. So I don't want to film a video in front of this spot. So that's why I use a different spot. But right now I have to be content with this spot and I, ca I can also show you guys my shelf which is freaking messy. Like I put my books, uh, reading books, studying books, my uh, guides, my bag, everything into this, that shelf. So yeah, it's messy. But right now that's not the point of our video. So let's get into this TBR. So as I told you guys, this is a competitive based readathon and there are three groups and I'm part of conspiracies. But Kate is part of, I guess, the bees. I'm not sure. I guess the bees. And conspiracies team is led by two people, Sarah and Noria. Uh, so I'll also link both of their channels down below. So yeah, they are the our hosts and we have to win for them Conspiracies come let's do some good job at reading so yeah, so I'll just Walk you guys through like few of the point systems So one page thread is equal to one village terrorized or is equal to one point. So yeah, yeah it's according to how many pages you read. If you pay, read one page, that, that means you terrorized one villager. And that means you get one point for your team. And one prompt completed. Like, there are almost ten prompts. Seven general prompts and three prompts for each team. But you can, like, you can also, uh, other teams can also, like, read the book from the other prompts. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Go check. Um, Kate's video it's much more good I'll link it down below so yeah one prompt completed is equal to 250 village terrorized that means 250 points for your team and for yourself and one challenge completed challenge means there are I don't know five or something uh, video challenges one is posted TBI which I'm going to uh, which I'm doing right now then uh, the last one is uh, post a wrap up which I'll do it at the end of this month and there are three uh, other video challenges which haven't been uh, told yet, I guess. So yeah. So for each challenge completed, there are uh, you get three hundred points or three hundred villages are being terrorized. So yeah, that's how things go over here. So let's without further ado, let's get to the prompts, or I'll itself get get confused with my things. And also, I'm also participating in Sobaton round two. So, but I will post a different um. I would say TBR for that because it's a week long readathon and most of the books uh, from this TBR in, uh, is included in that too but uh, one book is extra but I didn't want to like get uh, mix both of them because I'm already getting confused I was already getting confused while I was writing all the prompts down and all the books I would read for each prompt so I don't want to make you guys too confused or make it worse uh. So without further ado, let's get into the TBR. So the first prompt is classic creepers read a book with classic horror monster. So when I first read this, I was like, like the classic horror monsters are what is it, vampires or things like that, right? Dracula 
and I don't have any of those books. So I was like thinking, what should I do? And then I saw a TBR video from Sasha. I'll link her chan uh, channel down below. She's an amazing booktuber. And she said that you can read Harry Potter books because it includes snakes. Yeah, basilisk. 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 Okay, I'm not <laughs> trying to pronounce it. Basilisk. Basilisk. Ugh. okay it's confusing me anyways and uh, dragons and all those things are included in harry potter so you can use harry potter books too for this prompt so for that i'll be reading harry potter and goblet of fire the only harry potter book i owned and i recently hauled it and it's beautiful it's such a stunning cover like look at the details the dragon the egg harry his broom and fire and um Everything is so beautiful and then the stars and oh, it's beautiful and then the smile just look at the smiles freaking beautiful and at the back Ron Hermione and Harry <laughs> Actually, they look terrible in this but still it's so beautiful. It's and this blue cover It's so aesthetically pleasing and yeah, I'm I, I'm going to read this book and I'm ready to cry my eyes out. So the next prompt is what big eyes you have a book over 400 pages and before going to the book I like what big eyes you have isn't that the sentence uh, red riding hood uses when she finds like her grandmother which is actually a wolf in the in her bed isn't that the one I guess because okay let's get to the book because i'm confusing myself and you guys a lot in this video this is going to be a mess of a tbr like i'm just blabbing blab blabbering and my language is going really bad right now i don't know why i'm just blabbing things and making it worse but oh yeah so the book i'm going to be reading for this is hunger games by susan collins i can't get away from this book it's so obsessing it's so good so amazing and i'm so obsessed with this book it's so good like i reread this during reading like i read it last year i reread it during reading rush the next month that is this month i reread it again because i couldn't get away from this book and next month also i'm going to reread it because i this book is amazing it's such an amazing world such um a well developed characters and world and it's all amazing and these characters are my all-time favorite characters and i'll always cherish their stories so yeah i'll be rereading it again at at least until may 2020 when the prequel comes out till then every month i'm going to read this book i'm going to because i can't get away from this book so the next book uh, next prompt is C-H-I-M-E-R-A. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, that's the word. A book classified under multiple genres. For that, I'll be reading a book be, uh, which, which is totally out of my comfort zone. I have never read such a book. That is Short Takes, uh, Stories from Bangladesh by Tanvir Malik. Yeah, I've never read such a book and it's I'll just read you guys the blurb because it's amazing. This rare, enchanting collection of short stories from Bangladesh is a long and hard but very compassionate look at all that constitutes the life of a nation that came into existence after a long and bloody war of liberation. The 18 short stories, or days, presented here are vignettes of life as lived out by citizens of the metro city of Dhaka. Life is caught on the move, principally in the metro's steaming streets with its choked traffic, armies of urchins and beggars, and of course the upwardly mobile middle class representatives. It is through their aspirations and the big or small impediments that they face that we glimpse a larger picture of the making of a nation and of the formation of the character of its people. With all their follies and in their desperation, the heroism and covered eyes, sophistication and the lack of it, we easily identify with the citizens of Dhaka as folks experiencing the same slag, a slog as us. 
such a beautiful blurb and i'm freaking excited to read this because i'm from india and bangladesh and pakistan was once part of india and after partition they both became separate countries but still like we consider sorry we consider them as our brothers and sisters and i'm really excited to read about their stories how how partition affected them like partition affected each country very badly and like pakistan was uh, actually when uh, india got separated from buddhist regions pa uh, bangladesh was also part of pakistan and then this war happened and then pakistan and bangladesh became two different countries it's like that and i'm so excited to read this i know few things what happened and all and i'm really excited to really intrigued to read what happened after the partition and so the next prompt is the real monsters a book featuring monstrous human so for this even i got very confused what like what is the real meaning of it and then i i can so sasha's tv video and she said you have to read um human being who is evil so for that how can you not choose this evil character snow from catch a uh, hug him strategy especially in this book we can see lot of um, snow's devious plans so i'm really excited to read this i mean it's more prominent in mockingjay of course but i don't own the book so my only choice is to read catching fire and i'm freaking excited to read this again cuz i reread it this month too and next month also i'm going to reread it and i always thought catch that catching fire was my least favorite hunger games book but once i reread it i was like all three of them are so amazing that i can't point out which is my favorite or which is my least favorite there's nothing like that three of them are legendary so yeah i'm really excited to read this book so the next prompt is unsightly a comic or graphic novel manga or manga featuring a monster so unfortunately i don't own any graphic novel or manga or comic so i won't be able to fill that prompt but yeah the next prompt is angry mob a book recommended to you by more than one person for that i'm going to be reading the book which i also hauled recently with uh, harry potter that is interpreter of maldives by jumpa lahri so if you have been following saheli from heli a link down below she has always been recommending interpreter of maldives and she, uh, she says that jumpa lahri is one of her favorite authors so i'm really excited to read her book jumpa lahri is half indian and half um uh, i'd like um, london uh, british so yeah i'm really excited to read this actually her parents are from bengal but she was uh, born in london and grew up in rhode island usa yeah so also this book is uh, pulitzer uh, winner of the pulitzer prize for fiction 2000 so i'm really excited to i've never read a pulitzer prize winner so i'm really excited to read this book and also um uh, it's about going to other countries and working over there and the experiences over there like a totally different country from what they have experienced so i'm also an nri that uh, like i am from india but i i'm living in ua right now cuz my father works over here so i guess i can i Uh, i guess i can like relate to some of the ideas in this book so yeah i'm excited to read this book and also shubha lahiri is heli's favorite author and i read haruki murakami's book because of her recommendation i and i really liked his book it creeped the hell out of me but still i liked his book norwegian word so i'm excited to pick up this book which is another of her favorite author So the next prompt is sacrifice a book scene in an unhaul video. So recently Becca and the books uh, Becca from Becca and the books uploaded an unhaul video and in that she unhauled Allegiant book 3 in um, uh, Divergent series by Veronica Roth. So I have a special connection with this book because this is the first ever book I bought. My father bought it for me of course but still this is the first book I ever owned. and that's very special for me cuz uh it's been only a few um years that i started collecting books and this was my first ever collection and still it looks beautiful and yeah i saw it in an unhaul video 
and like one, one uh, I, I read it in 2015 like when I was 11 or something and I thought it was really an amazing book and I was so like emotional at the end like by the end and it was so amazing but right now it's been getting a lot of mixed and negative uh, reviews so I'm excited to see what I feel, what I what I feel when I reread it again. Cause this is the first time I'm going to reread this book. So yeah, I'm going to read this book for that challenge. So uh, these are the seven prompts, like general prompts, and the next three prompts are, are named after the three groups. So for the bees, it is a book featuring a monster with plant or animal traits. And for horns, it's just a book featuring a monster that is dead or undead. People from other groups can also like read books from these groups. I'm not making any sense for you guys, but just check out uh, her, her announcement video, which is much more in informative and clear than mine. But yeah, but uh, of course, this is too, the, the, this many books are too much for me because I don't read these many. Also, all of them, uh, these books are the chunk so yeah like harry potter and the goblet of fire it's a big very big chunk so i won't be able to like read all these books but if by any chance i manage to complete all these books then i will get into like the these two prompts or else i won't the prompt for my team that is the conspiracies is a book featuring alien robot or sci-fi based creature so for that i'll be reading the doomsday conspiracy by sydney sheldon so this is featuring an alien so there had been an alien sighting and 10 people have seen this alien and uh commander robert bellamy of u.s naval intelligence is asked to find these 10 people and um, and tell them to not like uh disclose this fact so but when he starts um when he starts going behind these people, finding these people, he finds that he's also being hunted. So yeah, being a uh, sus uh, okay. But as he conducts his search, Bellamy begins to suspect that he too is being hunted, and by unknown lethal force. That what he was told about the balloon is only one part of an almost unbelievable happening. From Washington to Zurich, Rome and Paris, the story unfolds to reveal Bellamy's past. By the woman he loves the most cannot re return his love by his friends became become his deadly enemies and why the world must never learn this incredible secret hidden on these swiss alps so yeah but actually Benny was told that this was a balloon something uh where the balloon carrying sensitive military information has crashed in switzerland that's what being told to Bellamy, but it's actually uh alien sighting so yeah I already confused this book a lot for you guys but i guess i'll be doing weekly reading vlogs for this readathon so if uh, like during that time i get to this book i'll explain to you guys better because i told you guys i'm not prepared for this video i'm just doing it in a, uh, in a moment like because i just got time to like do this video so i was like i'll just post this video right now itself so that i won't complicate things afterwards so yeah that's it for my t uh, monsterathon tbr P guys if you can please join this readathon because it's such an amazing and innovative and such an amazing uh readathon and i don't don't normally participate in different readathons but this was so intriguing to me and also it's a competitive based readathon and i'm so in for it and i hope my team conspiracies do very well and yeah i hope to contribute something to my team and yeah so if i didn't tell you guys it starts from september 1 to september 30th till the next time bye